we are going to be taking a look at a coordinate graph. So if you have ever played the game Battleship, you uh, will be familiar with coordinate graphs because uh, when playing the, this game, you have these ships that are placed on your board and your opponent has ships that are placed on their board. And the point of this game is to try to guess where the other person's ships are located on the board. So you have these series of, in Battleship, there's like um, letters that go this way and numbers that go this way. So as your opponent calls out a series of letters and numbers as their guess, they can um, find or guess where your ships are on your board. So we're gonna use that same idea and talk about coordinate graphs or another word for it is a coordinate plane. And a coordinate graph or coordinate plane is where you have these series of um, of columns and rows put together on a on a grid system. Now another thing that you have on your coordinate graph is called an x-axis which is the name of these numbers this way. You also have what's called the y-axis which is going to be these numbers that go that way and now zero is going to be kind of sharing both of them right here. Another thing you need to be aware of is something which is called an ordered pair. An ordered pair is going to be a pair of numbers that are in a specific order, right? So ordered pair, a pair of numbers, pair meaning two, they're in a specific order. Now, the order that these numbers are in is going to be according to the x-axis and the y-axis. So in your ordered pair, you always start with your x-axis, which is going to be these numbers down here. Then you go to your y-axis, which is going to be these numbers right here. So if we're going to be finding where five and eight are on our uh, coordinate plane, we first need to start with the x-axis and find the five on the x-axis, which is right there. Now we're going to go to find the eight on the y-axis, which is right there. Then you take those two numbers and combine where they meet on your coordinate graph or coordinate plane and you put a point there. Kind of like marking a spot on a graph or excuse me, on a, um, on a map, like this is a specific location on a map. Now, if we were to flip flop the number, so if we started with our eight, and then moved to the five, would we still have this point in the same location? Well, let's see. We're going to start now with our X axis, which is eight, and then our Y axis, which is five, and where do the two meet? Ooh, much different than before, right? That's where we were before. So it matters where you start your numbers. The five, your first number here, you're always going to start in this direction, your x-axis. Then you move to the y-axis, which is going in this direction. So let's try another one here. Let's say we have that zero one. Okay, we're starting with zero and then seven. So we're going to start with, again, our x-axis, which is zero. So let's find zero on the x-axis right there. Now we're going to find the seven on our y axis, which is right there. So notice where we put our point. Now we could try doing it the opposite way where we have um, a point on here already on our graph and then we have to figure out what the ordered pair is. So we have here a three, we also have a two. Now the question is, do we start with the three or do we start with the two? Hmm, well, which one's our x-axis? This one right here is our x-axis, so it's going to be a three followed by a two. 
there's our ordered pair, three, two. Let's do another one. This one, we have a point right here. So we start here with our x-axis, which is going to be seven. And then where does it go on the y-axis? Oh, zero. So our ordered pair is going to be seven, zero. What about this one? Question for you. Is this zero, nine, or is it nine, zero? Think about it. It's nine, zero. Great job.